Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's doing good out there. Thanks for taking a couple minutes to check out today's video. And uh, today I want to do a video on uh, my opinion of Johnny Morris and Bass Pro Shops based upon the video I did a couple days ago on uh, what happened to all the Ranger Pros. And I'll actually include a link to that, uh, that uh, video if you guys missed it. But man, you guys can't believe how many comments I got on that video. That that video sort of went viral. I mean, I got it's unbelievable. It had like 30,000 30, views in a day or so. And I got like 600 comments on it. And reading through some, a lot of the comments, it's like Johnny Morrison Bash Pro Shop just got slammed in that particular uh, article. Even though I didn't say anything bad about Johnny Morris and Bass Pro Shops, and I sort of wanted to give you guys my opinion of Johnny Morris to clarify that a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to have a little discussion about that. But anyway, I, you know, I'm real familiar with Bass Pro Shop. I only live about a half a mile from the Bass Pro Shop National Headquarters here in Springfield. So I'm right in the center of the Bass Pro universe uh, in the country here. And uh, Johnny grew up here in Springfield, Missouri. I mean, he, he you know, didn't come from any money. You know, his dad had a, or dad or his grandpa, I think it was his dad, had a, a small liquor store here in Springfield, Missouri, and Johnny started selling tackle out of the, out of just part of the of the uh, uh, liquor store there, and it grew into what today is Bass Pro Shop, which is arguably the most famous name in the fishing industry, done really good, and you know, throughout the course of that, Johnny was a professional angler himself. He qualified for five or six Bassmasters Classics. So, uh, you know, he, he started out for some pretty humble beginnings. And uh, I had, I've had a chance to get to know Johnny, you know, over the years because back in the early 90s, Bass Pro Shops used to have, like, I think they still do, but back then it was a really big deal. It was called the Spring Fishing Fair or something like that. It was sort of like the premier event in, uh, in you know, fishing shows back then because you know this was before internet <coughs> excuse me or, or all that type of stuff so this was a big deal and you had every pro in the country was at this spring fishing deal every year and i was there every year too working for different sponsors uh you know back in the early and mid 90s and every single year at the show when i was there johnny would make his rounds you know around the uh, show and he'd come by and talk to me and he said, "Hey Randy, what's going on, man? I've been following you. You're doing really good." Or saw you got you know top ten last week at Mega Bucks or whatever. So he was, you know, I got to know Johnny like that. And then in 1993, uh, Johnny conducted what was called the the Bash Pro Shop National Casting Championship, where it was a contest that was going to determine the best caster most accurate caster in the United States and I won that uh, I got first place in the casting competition got a $10,000 check from Johnny Morris and he invited me into his office there in Springfield and Johnny is one of the most laid-back humble nice dudes you'd ever meet I've got nothing bad to say about Johnny Morris because every interaction I've ever had with the guy he has been he's treated me with nothing but kindness and respect so from that standpoint, I have nothing bad to say about the guy. Sure, he's been controversial a little bit with what he's done as far as you know, buying up different entities and boat companies. But I'll tell you guys right now, the reason that that I'm a Johnny Morris fan, and he and I'll say this, even though I don't have any connection with Bass Pro Shop, I don't have any partnership, I don't have any sponsorship, I never have with Bass Pro Shop. So I don't have anything to gain by that. I'm just telling you from just an average dude, just like everybody else is looking outside. The thing that Johnny Morris, the contribution he has made to the sport that transcends anything that he may have done controversial is his contribution to conservation efforts in this country. Bash Pro Shop and Johnny Morris lead this country in conservation efforts. I mean, he's been awarded the highest honor that the Audubon Society gives out. He's been at the forefront of conservation and some environmental issues over the years. He's created, um, you know, different type of nature preserves in Southwest Missouri. You know, if you guys have ever been to Springfield or Big Cedar Lodge on Tabor Rock, uh, he's created, uh, he's created a, a, an environment that has sh truly shown what the energy of the Ozarks is. And just, you know, 
incredible, beautiful architecture that blends in with the environment. And I'm no fan of development, believe me. I, if it was up to me, this country would be still mainly be woods and waters with no building. But Johnny Morris has has taken, you know, the things that he done, he's done around this part of the state and ba and and basically you know made them very compatible with the environment where they didn't stand out and they blended into it i mean you can go down to big cedar lodge on Tabor Rock, uh, you know you see deer running around everywhere and everything that he's done completely blends into the environment so one of the big things that johnny's done in addition to conservation issues is he's created an avenue for people to experience nature through the through the that national museum he has in springfield there you know, like I said, the Native American uh, preserves that he has down there at Big Cedar Lodge uh, and other projects that he has around the country. You know, all of his Bass Pro Shop stuff, it brings people more into nature, you know, and, and the more involved that you get into nature, the more respect you have for it and the less apt somebody is to, to harm it or, or do something bad to it. So, you know, getting back to the the article that I did or the video I did the other day and Johnny getting slammed for everything he's done with buying out boat companies and that type of stuff you know I, I get people's frustration with that and there's no doubt that Johnny Morris is a shrewd businessman I mean you don't you don't become a multi-billionaire by not being a shrewd businessman and that's just one aspect of it but to have a voice like Johnny Morris somebody that's got that giant of a platform to promote conservation and environmental issues to me is everything because that is to me that's just the most important thing that there is what we do out here we have to conserve we have to not only conserve but we have to protect you know the things that we love in nature and the environment itself um, if I would if I could say one thing to Johnny Morris you know for him to hear you know in addition I would tell him in addition to his conservation efforts that he has I would tell him that I would love to see Bass Pro Shop get into the environmental environmental movement even more. You know, efforts to preserve clean air and water that go you know beyond the obvious. You know, I think that he has the you know ability to have the political pull. You know, to uh, basically institute legislation that protects our environment for the long term. That's what I would encourage him to do. But. Anyway, I just wanted to stand up a little bit for Johnny Morris after the comments that he got getting slammed. Like I said, I understand people's frustrations with what, you know, how he has maybe, you know, monopolized the boat companies a little bit. <clears throat> but like I said, from my point of view, what he has done and other aspects of our sport far outweigh that. And my uh, sister-in-law, she's a massage therapist at Big Cedar Lodge that Johnny owns down there. And she says all the time, you know, he'll come down there and ride around on the property. I guess he's got an old pickup truck and he comes down there, you know, in an old t-shirt and blue jeans and he just drives himself, you know, around the property in his old truck, you know, just, you know, down to earth dude, man, like everybody else. So, uh, you know, I really like that humbleness, uh, you know, too, for somebody that has, you know, acquired the level of success he has. So anyway, I just wanted to clarify that again, guys. I have no interest, I have no vested interest in Bass Pro Shop or Johnny Morris. I've never been partners with them. I've never been sponsored with them. But, uh, you know, I'm very aware of the contributions that Johnny's made uh, in the area of conservation. And that's, we should all be appreciative to that. You can slam him for what he's done on the business side. It's everybody's right. But <clears throat> Johnny Morris has definitely, you know, made this, country more aware of conservation issues and nature and the environment than about anyone else that I know out there. So that's just my two cents on it. You know, shoot me some more comments. Let me know what you guys think about it. And I'm going to get down here to Tabor Rock Lake and try to catch it to you. We'll see y'all.